No, it's the spider right there. Peter, that is truly... Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful day. I think it's gonna be in the 70s today. We have plants to get in the ground. We have seedlings that we're ready to plant in our garden because it looks like from here on out, we've got some warm weather and we're super excited. And guys, I don't know if I should do this recently. I try to give you a little updates on our plant wall. They just kind of exploded in there. I think they really like the pl the place of the plant wall and so that's super fun this um this viney plant is really filling out which is super fun this was mint that i transplanted from here because this mint is just crazy mint's pretty invasive so i should use the mint more maybe we'll make some mint iced tea that'd be really good happy spring day everybody <coughs> good morning honey you excited for plant planting day Whoa. Flowers, and and flowers and veggies and poodle and cat. All right, we're gonna go for a little walk. You wanna go for a walk? This morning? What? Oh, weird. One little pill got left behind when I emptied it and took the pills. Anyway, this morning when I took my pills, I emptied this, apparently minus one vitamin K. So I need to refill that. I feel like we have a lot to do today, but it's just normal stuff. Normal work stuff, normal house stuff, normal health stuff. So let's just do it and get it done. All right, it's planting time. What should we start with, flowers? <gasps> I grew these seeds in these little um, paper cups and it's working well. I just kind of ripped the cup and then this little seed pod, I mean, it's just dirt that is in a circle. Okay. Heirloom? Yes, heirloom tomatoes and then um, rainbow tomatoes. And I have all of these to give to friends. Okay, so we've got three heirloom in. Okay. What's next? Uh, we'll do, okay, you want one more heirloom? Yeah. So four heirlooms? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oops. I'm gonna do a little garden update so that I can remember what's here. <laughs> Yellow beans, uh, shelling peas, kale, purple beans, sweet peas, tomatoes. The back row are the heirloom, the front row are rainbow, and then we have cucumbers, jalapenos. So, wait, hold on. Heirloom in the back row, rainbow in the front row. Jalapenos. Are the jalapenos like the one, two, three? Uh, I think there's just two. They're the two up front. Two up front. That back one is one of the tomatoes, the That's heirloom. Nice. And then cucumbers and then carrots. Cool. And then we have a plan to put, uh, I started seeds, but they haven't sprouted yet. Um, colored peppers right there. All right, we are going to do, we, we got this uh, big pot a while back at TJ Maxx and we're going to do flowers in it for our front steps and it's so deep we decided to use some like an old planter thing and some old water bottles in the bottom of it so we didn't have to 
use soil for the whole pot. So we're gonna put some po some soil in there and plant some flowers. All right, welcome to our favorite place. Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought <laughs> I thought that shadow was the lens cover, but no. Okay. I am thoroughly enjoying this. Peter is planting all of the flowers. We love flowers. I never knew this would be us. We love flowers. So we put these red ones. I think these are a verbena, like super verbena maybe they're the long ones we've only ever had the short ones so this is fun because they're kind of spilling over this pot we bought this pot months ago and knew there would be the perfect reason to use it and it is right here right now we're thinking we might need to go to the store and get another flower for the back it seems reasonable oh yeah oh peter's planting oh yeah that's the perfect size yeah we were trying to decide whether we should put two of the geraniums in one pot, but definitely only one. These pots, we just reused them. They were on clearance for the flowers that he planted right there. So now we're reusing the pot. So it's working out perfectly. I'm at that point in the afternoon where I'm feeling really shaky. So I am just sitting. I put the uh, camping chair up here on the porch and I'm enjoying watching this. Oh yeah, he planted our what's it, tulips right there. So then once they die this year, the bulbs will stay in the ground and come back up next year when the great hyacinths come up as well. Love it. Wow. Um, whatever. I just took my hair out of a bun and it's looking very voluminous at the moment. Um, when this shaky feeling hits me, in the afternoons, not every day, but many days in the last couple of weeks. Um, it makes me ever so thankful. I did the dishes this morning and I'm finding that I am trying to do like the dishes or do something I need to do in the morning before the afternoon shaky time starts. So, uh, glad I already got the dishes done. <coughs> Awesome, thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll see if this helps. I vote yes. I vote yes too. Since we all know health is a democracy. That goes, that goes down all right. Okay, here's the update. Peter transplanted, we have up in our mailbox right there, some lamb's ear that we bought last year and it has like exploded with growth. So we brought some of that for the greenery. So that's what it looks like. I think it is so cute and I think it looks like a little patch of strawberries. There's the poodle. And then we bought some geronimos. They're geraniums, but I call them geronimos. There's another one. And then he's separating out from this old pot from last year, some geraniums that came back. And then, perfect. And then, yeah, I didn't even think of that. We could just put them, is that what you were planning? That one's still... Right here, yeah, that's good. Okay. So, we oh, just, you want me to yeah, put them in here? Yeah, but great. Oh, yeah, sure. YOLO. I was just doing it here so I didn't get dirt everywhere. <laughs> and then we can use this pot for something else. It's working out great. Biggest spider in the world! <laughs> just had it in my hands. Oh dear, so what is it? Is it this giant snake? No, it's the spider right there. Peter, that is truly, he just... I think it was in my bag of old mulch. <laughs> I would, like put the mulch down and I looked down and I screamed like a girl. He jumped and screamed. Right, rightfully so. I feel like we should get like a 
tape measure and put it down there and measure. Eat all our bugs. Yeah, eat all the bugs for us. Like that one crawling right next to you. That is... I think that's one of the biggest spiders I've seen. I think it is the biggest spider I've ever seen. That's cool. And also terrifying. <laughs> oh dear. So, the mulch will never change, I suppose. <laughs> Do you want some gloves? Right How about gloves? Hmm. Good idea. We had three plants come back from last year. I think that these are snapdragons. Um, I forget what this one is. And then this one I think is a verbena because I see some of the, wait, where'd it go? Right here, this one. So, <clears throat> here we go. Oh good, you brought the snapdragons. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing. Incredible. Incredible. The best there ever was. What, can you show us your special drink? You've got some ice water with mint. Mm. Some fresh mint. Mary drank it and said it tastes like a vegetable. <laughs> I said it tastes mm -hmm. vegetal. Vegetal? <laughs> vegetal. Vegetal. Is that, is that like the adjective form of vegetable? Yes. Hmm. There's a new word for you. I heard it here first. I folks. wonder if it really is a word. I think it is. Really? Vegetal? Vegetal. 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 Um, that just sounds like a two-year-old trying to say vegetable. <laughs> well. Vegetal. No. What? Vegetal. Okay, yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay, I, I was pretty certain. Wow. Vegetal definition of relating to... Dictionary.com. Of relating to or of the nature of plants or vegetables. This is vegetal water. That is vegetal water. <laughs> See, I thought you were making up a word. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> um, what's your review of our new flowers? I love them. What's your review of our new spider? I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't kill him. No, of course not. I want him to eat all our bugs. He is no longer in sight. I want to say of course not to that because <laughs> yeah, if if it was in our house oh it would be dead. It would need to get out of our house. <laughs> but I said oh no Peter I don't see it anymore. He said oh it's probably in our bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah one other thing but it's kind of hard to show you because we have some things around this at the moment but do you guys remember we found a futon on the side of the road and then made this planter out of it? Well so here are our new futon flowers. These are the flowers that we got 50% off because they were all crispy and fried. And um, I think they're gonna perk back up and look wonderful. We just got home from dinner and guys. We went on a dinner date and now. We, I said, Mary, they're starting to bloom. This is our azalea bush that we transplanted from a neighbor's yard last. With Last spring? With permission. Yes. <laughs> we transplanted it while it, while it was blooming last yeah, year. Yeah, it was so full of flowers. And so we weren't sure how it survived until we saw these little buds forming. And so most of the buds aren't blooming yet, but down here, this, this little side. I mean, side, these are going to explode in probably two days. I think because these probably get the sun first in the morning. Oh, interesting. So why not this? Well, I don't know. Maybe that's the wrong theory. <laughs> we were planning on trimming it. I'm but glad we didn't. We forgot. Yeah. Because now it'll be just huge and beautiful. Yeah. But I think we should trim it this year to make it fuller. Agreed. Agreed. Alright guys, here's my grill platform. I just need to nail the boards into place, have them all cut, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty pleased with how it came out. I think I was going to do lattice, but I, I want to kind of hide these cement uh, footers, so I think I might do like a couple of um, board slats here, uh, just to make a nice clean edge here, and then we'll try to grow the grass right up to that edge. I think it'll look nice. Obviously, this was a piece, a leftover piece from when I repaired a piece from the main deck. And so I was able to use a piece of that and then got new wood. So 
I'll eventually stain all of this same color as the deck and the grill will sit on its own deck. You should feel special, grill. This is what we do when we have clean laundry to make ourselves fold it when we put it on the bed. So we have to do it before we go to bed. You Man. guys, if you haven't tried cream cheese, I like the regular cream cheese, not the whipped cream cheese in colored peppers. It's Mary's like, it's a, it's a great trichafta snack for her because she has to have uh, something with fat before bed or before she takes her pills before bed. Is there a hair in there? I don't know. <laughs> it's great with hair. Mm. Uh, so anyways, the cream cheese gives you the fat and it's a refreshing snack. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming along today, celebrating flowers and, and giant spiders. As always, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Ollie boy. Good night.